first floor, where we have different exhibitions dedicated to aspects of culture, including arts, music, literature, and even short virtual reality experience. Please note the same museum instructions from our introductory video still apply for the remainder of your tour. We do hope you enjoy the next part of your tour. Please do remember to tag us on all our social media handles. Do enjoy your tour. Thank you. So right here we have Ambrose Campbell, we have Victor, we have Bobby Benson, we have Ambrose Campbell on the 50s, we have Victor Waifu, we have Atari Dola on the 60s, we have Shibu Bonkno, we have Oliver De Kock on the 70s, we have Fela, we have Shino Peters on the 80s, we have Oneka Omeno, we have Sonny Okosun on the 90s, and right here we have Mountain Black Moon known as the Downfall Drivers. And we also have two feet in DBA on the 2000. And right on all the... The 11 11 project is um, the first augmented reality gallery in Nigeria today. It was done by this artist. His name is Olada Unjobi. He's based in Lagos State. Um, he donated all um, 11 pieces to the museum, but if you look around you, you realize that we only have 10. That's because the 11th item, we started to take it off because uh, most uh, adults, most parents come to the museum with their children, and it is an adult content, so we don't want to upset anybody's um, view. We took that one out. So the 1111 project is, I already have the application installed on my phone, so I would not have to, uh, but you can download it if you have time. But I have um, the horse has the thunder effect. Uh, the hands over here, you see them. So you're welcome to the current tea room. I'm going to be telling you about the current tea room. So the current tea room talks about the revolution of Nigerian current tea from the 14th century till date. And right on this shape here, we have the current seas from 14th century. All right, let's take a look at them. All right, so right here we have the Manila. 14th century. This is made out of bronze metal and copper. And then we also have cowries, the 17th century. And also we have the British money. Uh, the ones with the dotted holes, are, they're called pennies. Why these ones here are called the shillings. And then also uh, we have Kobo. 1959, we started making use of Kobo when uh, Central Bank of Nigeria was established. We started making use of Kobo from the highest Kobo down to the lowest Kobo. And then right here we have the notes. And on these notes we have the Republic of Biafra, the one pounds, and also we have the Central Bank of Nigeria, one pounds. And this money we actually used 1967 down to 1970. We made use of this money. And then also 1st January, 1973, uh, one era notes were... And what does Kakaki do? It is a local trumpet uh, used to announce the presence of a king. Um, an emir or a sultan. That's what we have here. In here, this is in Igbo land, they call it a kwe. A kwe is a local um, wooden gun. It's used to make music. And then, of course, the a very popular I'm talking drum. A Yoruba person would call it gongo. Gongo. Gongo, yes. So the talking drum um, was gotten from. So unlike regular drums that have static sound, uh, for the talking drum, the strings attached to the drum allows you to um, control the kind of output of sound you have. So regular drums might sound like, but with the talking drum, the 
put it in the armpits like this and then with your arms pressed against the strings mm -hmm. you can control um, the output of the sound and that is why a lot of people call it talking drum because you can even with it and some people claimed um, they understood um, so it was used to like the language speak. Yes, they, they understood the language of the drum and that's why they called it the talking drum because it was like an instrument for Co communication okay. yes. alright please come to artists for free for a whole month to showcase their artworks, their paintings but for this space you have to be a digital artwork and every time we are giving this space out for free we you have to use all 10 screens to showcase your work so sir, you have some amazing projects of people that come in to see the originals in fact, we have an MOU with the Nigerian Commission for Museums and Monuments for every repatriated item we have it on display here and every time we display these artworks, it is always a day where we have the most traffic in the museum. 500 people coming. They want to see the originals because a lot of people are people want to see this, right? Thank you for tuning in to Nigeria Magazine's YouTube channel. Stay connected, stay informed, and stay inspired with the latest from Nigeria. Remember to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to stay updated.